Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to the Wolf Among Us. Last time we had done a bit, not too, it was kind of a shorter episode, we went to Holly's funeral, we encountered Tweedledee, Tweedledum, um, and we uh, came back here and realized that Crane had smashed the mirror and that, the, that he had taken a shard of the mirror. Um, it uh, put me back at the beginning of chapter three, so I had to replay some stuff, and I picked the answers that I thought were what I did before, but I think I chose a couple... Uh, I think the last one I chose was different, because I couldn't remember what I chose. Um, and Snow... I don't remember if this is where it left off last time, but Snow said, let's look through his desk. I can't remember if I've talked to either of them either. I don't think I did. I think I ended it right um, at the beginning of chapter three. So let's go ahead and start off by talking to Buffkin, see if he knows anything about Crane or where Crane might have gone or all of that good stuff. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Your eyes kind of oh, creep yeah. me out. Yes. You're so empty and I saw him jump on the telephone before empty. he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Hmm. His witch? Yes. Which witch? sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Uh, that witch. Hmm. It's been a uh, long day. Uh, see anything else? I think we did else. talk to him. I do remember him no, saying something not, about the witch. Uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. Right? Yeah. Y you mean it? Yeah. Because I didn't want to say that last option of, like, why didn't you stop him? I, I don't think that's necessary. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. All right, let's go help Snow look through stuff. Well, let's look around here first and make sure there's nothing else. Um, it looks like the only thing I can do is talk to Snow and examine the desk. So, let's talk to Snow really quick. Can I talk to Buffkin? Oh yeah, because I saw the other dialogue option. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. What are the 13th floor witches? Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Uh, check this stuff here? Sure. Why did you stop? You just asked me to do this. Room... Key... Room key 207? Is that where we just were? What is it? It's the key to his room yeah. at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. You don't want to know. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. Hmm. <sighs> Makes it seem so much more sinister. So much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Well, you obviously hit it Come very on, well. Let's keep looking. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Where's my cursor? Anyway? A letter. Think about Crane. You gonna read this? No. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the condition here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. I don't think we know that. I don't, I don't think I know that name. What's that weird side eye you gave me, Snow? <laughs> oh, there's a drawer. Oh, let's read the letters first. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask, again, that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio, oh, Pinocchio says his skin is splintering, oh. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really <laughs> like it if you fix the air, like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us with a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Is Boy Blue one of the boys on that ship from Pinocchio? It's been so long since I've seen the movie. Mr. 
Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Like, good King Cole? Bomb! It's a bomb! It's not a bomb. <laughs> Strength! <laughs> the, the weird little side eyes cracked me up. The office... I couldn't read it in time. Oh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Lufkin, do you know what oh, was yeah. The Ring of Sauron. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. Really? It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention the snow? Snow, chill out. No one asked me. Buffkin. And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Hi. Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took you a piece of the mirror so can use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Biff, Buffkin. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. A.M. Buffkin! Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about yeah, this? Yeah, that's a good question. Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned <laughs> to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. We just started, Jude. Calm down. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market. How do we know it's the same witch? And that he'll be there at two. So that it just said it's his witch. A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Yeah, the Tweedles, I can't it figure out how they're involved. What they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. So... No, chances are you won't have time. Okay. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You Train can't just apartment? go up there. Oh. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, alright? 
I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, <laughs> if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard. I'll just that's side with where snow. He's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. You go to Tweedles, I don't like then. I like going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. You want me to go to Holly, so I'll go there. Or check Holly's stuff. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Uh... Or Lily, Lily's stuff, rather. Go to Holly's to check Lily's stuff. Find the witch. Oh, interesting. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Uh... Man, no, Crane's apartment's pretty good, but I do think I want to go to Holly's bar because that's where Snow wanted me to go, and I'd rather side with her. Uh, the witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's Your apartment. Your phone scared me. I'll check in with you later. I really want to know what was in Crane's apartment. You, know what you're doing. you told me to go to check Lily's stuff. This is on you. Achievement unlocked, what big eyes you have. Ooh, Ooh I don't like the time ticking down. That makes me stressed. <laughs> One hour and 22 minutes. I do. Sorry, we're closed due to bereavement. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Uh, that makes me uncomfortable. Well, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. Yep. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. I trust you less when you're friendly than when you're grouchy. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking <laughs> guy says or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here or? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Hmm. The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I thought you were just drunk, but and that makes more sense. That he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. It's probably fine. He's a fable, right? Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. <laughs> that funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Hmm. Don't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. I just won't say anything. I don't want to antagonize him. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I want to clear the air. 
We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. I feel Brandy, like that'll be. didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with you. Just hurry up, with drink it, and go. Oh, that might get me in trouble with snow. Whatever. To the dead. Did he spike my drink? I don't know. Huntsman had some creepy teeth. <laughs> All right, now help me. Ren. Doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my- Oh back. no, QTEs, I'm not ready for sorry, this. All right? I can't do anything about it, it's done. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot, you haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now <sighs> you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. The woodsman will remember that. Mm, okay, good. I feel like we had bad blood between us before. Hopefully that kind of clears the air. I don't want everyone to be mad at me. There's a sign in the back for hams, apes, nuts. Gray. Or ham, apes, nuts. <laughs> I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. Thanks, that's but all I would wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Don't have anything to say to that. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. <laughs> uh. Hopefully we'll just be quiet. Oh. Oh, of course she's sleeping on it. Oh no, she's on a cot, I see. I thought she was on a suitcase for some reason. Uh, I don't want to wake her. Yeah, slide that out. Nice and easy. Nope, you're supposed to be asleep. Shh. Creative alcohol. Oh, I'm examining the cot. Hmm. What's the creative alcohol for? Big B. Oh, that's what I needed. Excellent. Good job, Big B. You klutz. <laughs> All right, what's in there? Take it out. All right, or don't. Oh, is that Faith? In the middle? <sighs> yeah, take it out, Big B. That you, Woody? Ah. <sighs> Woody, is that you? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so. You can run off back to the woods, I guess. Excellent. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if I recognize all three of them. Who is that? Did you care about her at all? She uh, was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Hmm. Glamour tube, that's what I want. But we had a glamour tube like that, didn't we? Oh, that is the one we looked at. Because I had to do that puzzle. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. <laughs> I like her voice actress, it's really good. Ah, address book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. The music's all tight. Sorry, I got so distracted. <laughs> well, you know I think I've been quiet for a while. Anybody, so. uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Yep. Just go back to sleep. Wow, the the uh, shadow of the book is there, but not of Bigby. So the book is just floating. On this day, and one of these has to be the witch. But which one? Uh. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? I forgot about um answering machines. You could just like no. hear what people hey, are saying. I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. People keep cropping up. Before a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone to Fable Town. Any chance you can cross-reference these with yeah. records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. <sighs> the meeting is at two. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. Yeah. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. That's also what time, I'll see what I can she do suggested, and that was the okay. other one I, I thought would be good. Uh, we'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Either Crane or uh, the bar here. I really just don't know what good it'll do to go to Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I still don't know what they have to do with it necessarily, so. Well, he forced his way in. Good. Bluebeard burned everything. What? That mother trucker. <laughs> I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. Uh. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the crane stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. So he seems to be in, in league with Crane, possibly, or at least protecting him slash protecting himself. I wonder what I could have found if I went here. But if I hadn't gone here, he probably would have gone- something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. I picked wrong. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. 
Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. That picture of Crane in the back. Good luck. Ah. Uh. Bummer. Oh well, I didn't know. <clears throat> That's good at you. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't you look know like if you a, remember me. a billy goat. I've uh, seen you around, but you With may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. Fly you, you've catcher. worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with that? Can you see with all the hair in the way? The D or dumb? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. Mm. It's been a, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Mm. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Oh, you're sure. the best. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. Look at those hats. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Oh, Bigby. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Be polite, Bigby. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Bigby, clean that up. Where did you drop it? Clean that up. Don't make this poor kid do that. Cigar box, inbox, inbox, lollipops. I guess check the inboxes. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <laughs> ah. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, brother Dunn. Are they talking about freaks. a wolf? Like uh, us? Uh, pointless. Big B, yeah, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. Do they? They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. Hmm. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down or like sometimes they get packages for people they can be like couriers you know you mean for people other than the witch oh yeah all kinds come to think of it i don't really know where they keep them keep the packages anyways i'm just saying you just don't know them like i do that's sure, fair fly catcher. i mean i don't what is this one lollipops let's check the cigar box Empty? A key. You know about this? Uh, no. I like Flycatcher. Interesting. Okay. Pardon. Uh, wait, is it, is there like a, a hidden lever there? Oh, 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 filing cabinet, yeah. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. They do. And donkey skin. Hmm. Brannigan? Don't remember that. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property Request acquisition. Request for property acquisition. Oh. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? 
Hmm, interesting. What is the photo? Stole a photo from so Crane. That's why they were at her apartment and the woodsman's place. I, I was trying to read it was crossed up. I knew you wouldn't find anything. <laughs> anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Big way. Should we check these? Who's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Police Detective Kelsey Brannigan. I didn't read it because he closed it too fast. Should we check Beauty? She owes the money, doesn't she? Georgie has an interest. This Wait till CM goes thought. ahead. Put squeeze. Shit. We haven't met Cinder really yet, have we? Where's Cindy been? Vacation apparently. Christmas is somewhere in Europe. Hmm. Find anything? Not what I need. W what if? What if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. Yeah. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Is that what you think? Oh, I didn't mean that to come across so angry. Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns. Hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. Bigby, you don't I, have I'm, to I'm shout sorry, at him. I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Look, flycatcher, I... I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. That picture on the back. Oh wow. Must be the big bad big bad wolf. I, I, I didn't mean to There's a door behind this file cabinet. Oh? I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Thank you. Well, that key you found should work. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. Thanks. How did I miss that very obvious keyhole before? Hmm. Are you gonna lock me down here, flycatcher? Does Bigby have a weapon on him ever? Like, I just... Wow. <laughs> I really like you. Mountain blend coffee. Well, oh, interesting. There's a lot of stuff down here. Is this package? I guess. Butcher. What's inside? What is this stuff? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using? The crooked man. Something. ASAP. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you <gasps> soon. Ichabod Crane. Take that cash. Take Why that cash. Sending money to the crooked man. man. Who's the crooked? The lucky man? pawn. You know what that is. There was a crooked man who lived a- Yeah, take the money. We might need that later. Uh, it's been proven in this game that it's, it's good to have money on Is that you. What you need it? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more There was a crooked man here. who walked a crooked mile. Still need to find that witch, though. What is the rest of that poem? Hang on, I gotta find that poem. It's gonna drive me crazy. Give me one second. Apparently it's a song. 
There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked si sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought he bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Huh. The English nursery rhyme. From 1842. Anyway, while we're here, we should check our book of fables. Who do we have? There's someone I wanted to check on. What is that? Troll Funeral writes, The gaze of Great Mother Death is always upon us. Beneath her affectionate eye, we fight our battles. We nurse our wounds. We shout our victories. We endure our sorrows. We endure our sorrows. And when we fall, she is there. Her embrace is the silence of the mountain, the heavy piece of the stone. Approximately translated, a troll funeral is a sacred ritual passed down by oral traditions from troll mother to son. It begins at sunset with a with the creation of the cairn, a small pile of stones to represent the many generations of trolls that have traveled and died before them, the foundation upon which the living stand. Weapons are divided among the trolls' closest comrades, the body and the rest of their possessions are burned, and though each viewer must speak to the life of the lost, the eulogy's candor would make a Mundi blush. Vivian, Georgie's girl. Much of Vivian's past is unknown, since she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homelands. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself working at Georgie at working for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the open arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie in, 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 ensure complete customer satisfaction. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is the resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. What? He served an ar as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talent to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved Fable-focused health facility. The Trip Trap Bar. Is this new? The oldest bar in New York, the Trip Trap was established in 1725 in secret by Star Star Cod Starkad, the legendary Viking and reprobate, as a place for fables to meet and drink and commiserate. Known then as the Grammarian's Tavern, he eventually lost it in a bed to a tribe of mountain trolls who quickly renamed it and made it their own. Holly is the current proprietor, having inherited it from her mother when she died in a boating accident in the early early 20th century. Okay, well, we've already missed some people. Oh dear. All right, back to investigating. Um, package, what's this little one? Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Yes. Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? Flycatcher will remember that. Hair. Snow's hair. Ugh. Snow White? Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. Oh. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf, AG. AG. There we go. This is it. I have to tell Snow. This is the place. There, there's a phone right over there. Thanks. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Yeah. All right. It's going to load, and I'm going to try and stop it here before it gets too exciting. Um, Let me double check how long I've been recording. My boyfriend is out uh, having coffee slash dinner with people and I just want to make sure he's not going to walk in in the middle of a fight or something. So one sec. Okay. Yeah. I've been recording for uh, almost 50 minutes. So I think I'm going to cut it here. Um, oh, what is this book of fables that I just unlocked? And then we'll end. What do we get? What do we get? Flycatcher. Ah, the frog prince! Oh, that makes so much more sense. A former prince turned into a frog by a witch. The friendly, genial flycatcher now carries the nickname as an unsubtle reference to his 
propensity for catching and eating flies. His wife and their children were brutally murdered back in the homelands, a fact he attempts to deny himself by committing by committing to a series of endless tasks and janitorial duties. Alright, interesting. Well, I like him even more now. <laughs> That's, oh, poor, poor dude. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this one here. In the next episode, we will hopefully start right as we're running down that corridor to anti-greenleaf. So I'm excited to see what that uh, what is in store for us there. Thank you all for joining me in this episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye!